Hi, it's Christina with the Sisyphean Journal. Out of the tragedies at Moshe Hakamovich's A to Z abortion facility in Arizona, there was a miracle that started with the screw up. An unnamed 17 year old girl went to A to Z seeking a late second trimester abortion. She was self-referred after a positive home pregnancy test. And the date was June 29th, 1998. Dr. John Biskind diagnosed the girl as being 23.6 weeks pregnant based on an ultrasound. The following day, June 30th, he began to try to remove the fetus. Now, I provide a link to the Associated Press story about the case, and that story leaves it under, unclear whether Biskind noticed his mistake and chose to deliver the baby alive, or whether the baby simply came out whole and breathing. Either way, she turned out to be very much alive, not dead as intended, despite her fractured skull and two deep facial lacerations that she suffered during the attempt on her life. Local pro-lifers dubbed the baby Phoenix. After her unintended birth, Phoenix was transferred to Good Samaritan Regional Medical Center. She weighed six pounds two ounces. She was actually close to full term, 37 weeks of gestation. A police spokesman told the Associated Press that a Texas couple were going to adopt Phoenix. Dr. John Maddox of Good Samaritan Hospital told the AP that the difference in size and lie, that's the position of fetuses of 23 weeks versus 37 weeks are so different that this mistake ought not to have happened. A 24 week fetus typically only weighs about two pounds, a third of the size of little Phoenix. She said, with an ultrasound, there shouldn't have been that kind of discrepancy. And even abortion doctor Brian Finkel said that missing a 37 week gestation and confusing it with a 23 week pregnancy is unacceptable. Now the AP noted that Biskind had gotten letters of concern from the medical board in 1989 for misdiagnosis and in 1990 for improper prescribing. He was censured in 1996 for gross neglect and conduct harmful to patients or the public. What the AP failed to report was that the 1990 letter of concern was for an attempt to abort a full term infant that he diagnosed as only 10 weeks of gestation. And he was censured again in 1995 due to the abortion death of Lisa Bardsley. Now, his license was finally revoked in 1998 in the wake of his conviction in the death of Lou Ann Heron. Evidently, the medical board doesn't consider you a threat to the public as an abortionist until you're actually convicted of manslaughter. And the clinic where baby Phoenix was, Phoenix was nearly killed was owned by Moshe Hakimovich, who was implicated in the abortion deaths of Christina Goswine, Tanya Williams, and Luz Rodriguez, and also owned the clinic where Jamie Garcia was killed. A to Z was finally closed July 21st, 1998, after its lease was revoked by the landlord and a judge ordered release of records to a grand jury investigating possible criminal activity. So you can look at all the, even if you take the dead babies out of the equation, Hakimovich and his employees caused a lot of chaos, a lot of tragedy, but happy birthday, Phoenix Doe. I am so glad that you were born alive and adopted by a loving couple wherever you are today. Again, happy birthday.